up Julia Mafia welcome back to my channel welcome back and if you're new welcome you can join the fam by hitting that subscribe button it's the red button right up under the video once you hit it it'll turn gray and you can hit that bell so you'll be notified when I post so you do not miss a video so guys today I'm going to be showing you how I do a soak off um I did these nails not even like a week ago maybe like it's a week ago today that I'm editing it but um, when I was soaking them off, it hadn't been a week that I had them on. So, um, I really just wanted to do them to try out some new tips that I had. But I'm going to end up doing my nails for real. Um, I just wanted to take these off so I can start over and just do both hands. And, yeah. So, I'm going to be showing you how I'm about to soak these off. Um, I will not be using a drill through this video. All I'm using is, you know, my pure acetone and then that big, the bowl at the bottom. Um, excuse how big it is, but um, it's filled with water. I put the water in the microwave for about five minutes to let it get hot because acetone works better when it's warmed up a little. But you do not want to warm it up literally like it itself. So you um, get some hot water and put it up under your little bowl or whatever, then you get it warm. And I'm going to be using a cuticle pusher to get it off. Um, I am only using my drill right here to take off the gel top coat and the rhinestone glue that is on top of the nails. Because I did have rhinestones on these, but I took them off the day before. Um, so I'm just using my drill to get that off. I could have used the hand file, but I just didn't feel like it. Um, but this is the only reason I'm using my drill. Um... Other than that, I will not be using my drill to, like, get the acrylic off and stuff. Um, I will strictly be using just the cuticle pusher, and you will see that. So, this is, you know, you don't have to be a nail tech to take your nails off. I'm about to show you how to do it. You ain't even got to have a little fancy bowl like I got back there for your hands. You can use just a regular bowl of acetone or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm just taking that top cut off and then I will come right back once I get ready to put my hands in there. Okay guys, so once I get all the top coat off, I'm going to be taking um, some nail clippers to clip the nails. You know, they're kind of, they're not long, but you know, I'm just clipping the extra, you know, acrylic at the top so it doesn't have to take that long to be, you know, soaking off all that unnecessary acrylic. So I'm just going to clip them down, as you see, because my nails weren't that long up under them, so... I can clip, clip them down pretty short and then once I do that I will be sitting my hands in the acetone and the first time I, I left them in there for about maybe like 20 minutes and then y'all gonna see when I come back okay so I take the 20 minutes back it was maybe like 10 or 15 each time so um, as you can see the acrylic is starting to get soft and like flake up and now I'm able to take the cuticle pusher the metal ones are really good for this 
um, I'm taking the cuticle pusher and I'm just scraping the soft acrylic, the acrylic that's already getting soft or whatever, off the top. And then I'm going to put it back in there once I get all that off each finger. And I'm going to sit it back in there for about 10 to 15 more minutes. And then y'all see the next one. So here they are after the second time and it's more <laughs> flaky or whatever now I can proceed to scrape that up and um, this is how it's supposed to look like your acrylic is supposed to be like easy to take off it's not supposed to like damage your nails and be so hard to just get off it's supposed to just get soft and like kind of flake up um and be you know easy to take off not hell to get off um but yeah i'm just gonna do that like i did the last time and then i'm gonna put my hands in there one last time i only had to do it three times to get the acrylic fully off and um but my thumb my thumb is always stubborn i don't know why but it always takes a little bit more for my thumb to come on up so i had to end up, i put my thumb back in there um after all the other nails were off but yeah as you can see i'm getting pretty close to the actual nail is really just a little bit left i just had to put them in there for a little bit more um and then i'll have them completely off okay so here they are after the second time i think it's the second time third time they've been in there whatever and this is the last time that i'm gonna put them back in well that was the last time that they were gonna go back in because um that did it you know it got up the rest of it softened up the rest of it so I was able to just scrape it off and then like I said my thumb is stubborn so I ended up having to put it back in there a little bit longer than the rest of the fingers but while I had it in there I went ahead and took my um drill and I just got a soft sanding bit and I just uh smoothed out my other fingers as you will see and yeah that completed my soak off so i'll see y'all when it's all finished Okay, so this is my nails. Acrylic all soaked off. It did not take that long. It only took about 30 to 45 minutes. I'm not going to lie. It really did not take long at all. And I only used a metal cuticle pusher. Um, I only used my drill to like file my nails or whatever and get the gel top cut off. So um, you can do a little soak off at home by yourself. Just get you a cuticle pusher and you in there sis so guys that completes this soak off thank you guys for watching see you in the next video do not forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave to join the fam hit that like button and comment some video ideas down below